what Jairam Ramesh and Kesi Gopal uh, comment on uh, you? See, there are two, three, two, three issues I would like to uh, bring to the notice of this nation and also want to straightforward ask Rahul Gandhi ji two questions. One, Rahul ji, what happened to your ED case? When you and Honorable Sonia Gandhi ji, Malik Hajun Karge ji, Pawan Bansal ji and many leaders from various states of this country have been called by the ED one and a half year back. What happened to that case? Is there an understanding between Congress and BJP? Should we think that there is an understanding? Point one. Point two, you fight with CPI, CPM in one state, then in another, another state you are in alliance with them. You fight with Ahmadmi Party in one state, you criticize them, then you are an alliance partner of INDIA. So you are multiple opinions about these parties and your selective criticism of these parties. Kindly give the, this nation a clarity on issues like why, what is this political confusion that Congress party has. And if you are confused yourself, what do you expect from the people? BRS from day one has been clear. We are against both Congress and Bharti Janta party. That is why we are neither a part of any of the alliance. Simple as that. But what is the stand of Congress party? The party like Amadmi party which you oppose, why is it your alliance party today? Three, what is your status or what is your um, uh, stand on corporates? Uh, corporates like Adani ji, you welcome them with red carpet in Rajasthan where you are a ruling party, you welcome them into Chhattisgarh where you are a ruling party and otherwise you oppose them in various other states. So what is your stand on Adani ji? Will your own chief minister Mr. Gehloth agree that Adani ji should be out of business? Please uh, categorically state this that when you start your Bharat Jodo Yatra in Rajasthan, will you criticize Adani ji in Rajasthan? These are the three questions I want to ask uh, Rahul Gandhi ji. What about your ED case? What is your stand on Adani ji? And what is this confusing stand of yours on various political parties? And why did you not question or why did you not work or raise the issue of Women's Reservation Bill as a party in the last 20 years? Thank you. Uh, Jaram Ramesh said that uh, Kavita should uh, care about the ED not for uh, Rahul Gandhi. <laughs> See, it is not about Kavita caring or not caring about uh, Rahul Gandhi or Congress party. They have come to Hyderabad. We welcome them. They are political tourists. Mr. Rahul Gandhi is a political tourist. We welcome him. He can taste the beautiful and aromatic Hyderabadi biryani, have the biryani and please leave because you are you are confusing statements about politics, you are confusing statements about various corporates and your hypocrisy about ED. Why is ED not calling Sonia ji, Rahul ji, Malikarjun Karge ji in the last one and a half year? Apparently there is a scam of 5000 crores in that Young India Limited and Deccan Harrell case. What happened to the case? Why is it not moving? Is Congress party in understanding with BJP? Please answer these questions if you have come to Telangana and more so. Please apologize to the martyrs of the Telangana movement. Because of your dilly-dallying, because of your delaying tactics, Telangana got delayed by at least 10 years. Because it was 2004 promise of Sonia Gandhi ji that she will give Telangana. But ultimately, Telangana was given in 2013. Because of that, many people have died, suffered. Telangana is on the back footing. So they need to apologize to the people of Telangana first, and then they can call me anything.